So just a couple of things to be aware of. NYU, like most schools, has a PhD program application fee waiver. So if this is not, if, if you've never heard of this before, make sure that you Google it when you are interested in applying for um, PhD programs. Most schools offer this, NYU does too, but it's definitely something you have to plan for. Most schools, NYU included, won't give you a, um, a reimbursement. It's something that you have to request in advance. And for our NYU application, there are a few stipulations um, that, that are in place that I've listed here, um, but that's something to consider. I remember when I applied to grad school, those application fees certainly racked up and it was something that I had to financially budget for um, and costs certainly haven't gone down since I applied. So this is a really nice perk um, of a lot of application procedures. Uh, and if you qualify, then you should definitely take advantage of it. And it only takes just a, a little bit more planning to make sure that that happens. Um, some other things that uh, GSAS stands for our Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, which psychology is a part of, that's our overarching college, and our GSAS programming um, does a lot to focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and I wanted to showcase a couple examples. They have a We Search workshop series, it's a bunch of programs that intersect students and scholars, um, to look for and design strategies to combat discrimination and unconscious bias. So this is a really interdisciplinary workshop series um, focused on the, the theory and the application and translation of work to address um, social justice issues. That's specifically for uh, arts and science graduate students. We uh, have a very large center to address issues of student accessibility. This, uh, there are comprehensive services that are offered for graduate students, but undergraduates as well, for anybody that's involved in our university community who needs assistance with hearing, visual mobility, or other disabilities that they're experiencing. And besides providing support for those students that might need those kinds of services, they also have some really cool other programming like the Ability Lab, where students and faculty are working collaboratively within science and technology, engineering and math, STEM fields, to develop adaptive and assistive technologies for people with disabilities. So if that's of interest to you, there's a really exciting Ability Lab that's doing that work and NYU Connections and ASD Nest support projects that are specifically focusing on neurodiverse students and how to best support them. Uh, focusing on LGBTQ plus issues is also a huge uh, priority for NYU at large. So there's a very, uh, very big center that's working to provide support and programming for members of this of this community. On the left, I've listed a bunch of um, events that go on throughout the year. Right now, it's graduation season. I'm sure you know that too at, the, at, at your own uh, universities or as an alumni of those universities. And our LGBTQ plus center does a lot to provide special celebration opportunities for members of, of its own community. Um, New York City has a huge pride parade. You might have heard about that and members of our NYU community participate and support that march in the parade. Um, and there's a bunch of other events that you can see. It gets a lot of awareness uh, and a lot of a lot of programming to address these kinds of issues and bring awareness for, of, of specific concerns for people who are not a part of that program. So it's not just about support, but also about increasing awareness for those that might be interested in learning about that community. On the right are just a, a sampling of different um, affinity groups that you might be interested in joining as a member of the NYU community. Another really big center that NYU has is the Center for Multicultural Education and Programs. This is a, a really fantastic um, center and resources that does incredible programming to address anti-racism, to teach anti-racist practices for people um, who are outside of minority groups. It provides incredible support uh, for students that are inside of underrepresented groups. These are a couple of the events that they do. Uh, uh, Global Scholars series, NYU Portraits uh, is a series that really brings in the arts um, and, and showcases and highlights the diversity of, of our students and celebrity guests that pop in. Within our own psychology department, within our own psychology department, as I introduce myself, I am the diversity and inclusion coordinator for our department. I work to support um, 
a healthy and productive academic experience for all members of our community. We have a diversity, equity, and inclusion committee that I am the chair of that involves other faculty members and graduate students and postdocs to make sure that we're representing many different perspectives as we think about our programming and support that, that we offer. And there's also a student-led, graduate student created and led committee, um, the Diversity and Science Committee, DISC, that has created their own programming and provides its own support for, for, fellow, for fellow students. They're incredibly productive and efficient. And it's really Really fun to work together with them. Some of the things that we've done recently within our DEI capacity um, are that we are we over the last year we just had 13 faculty-led student supporting working groups that were addressing many issues surrounding diversity, equity, and inclusion with the goal of really assessing where are we at and how can we improve. Uh, so that DISC community, the graduate committee, that graduate student group that I mentioned, put together programming that it just received financial support for called My Own Story. This is going to be a unique speaker series that features diverse non-NYU academic faculty in a moderated Q&A and breakout session space so that graduate students, diverse graduate students, have access to mentors both within and outside of NYU that might share some of their demographic similarities. We have an Emerging Scholars series, a colloquium series that features junior scholars uh, that self-define as diverse uh, to support their academic growth and so that we get to see really cool work done, being done by new diverse scholars. The preview days programming that you're a part of today and also later in the summer we'll have a summer research training program to provide uh, even more in-depth mentoring and research training to underrepresented individuals. And Dr. Weiji Ma, who is up next, is uh, just wrapped up a four-part series of a race and racism workshop to help increase awareness of historic practices of it of racism in science. We really are focused on increasing awareness, understanding transparency so that we can improve um, all aspects of inclusion for our community moving forward. There was 500 people that participated in this workshop series across many different science departments and it was very well received. So these are just a few of, of the uh, support offerings and programming that, that we are doing within our department, college and the university. 